What's up guys? I just wanted to throw together a quick video on the FCC leak of the new Autel Robotics Evo 2 and guess what? It has interchangeable gimbal modules, a 35 minute flight time, and a built-in screen on the controller with a 7 kilometer max control and vision transmission distance. So there's three camera modules, an 8K, a 5.5K, and a dual infrared. Uh, 8K. The 8K supports up to 25 frames per second, 48 megapixel pictures, 6K at 30 frames per second, and 4K at either 30 or 60 frames per second, with a max bit rate of up to 120 megabits per second. The 5.5K module goes up to 60 frames per second. It supports 20 megapixel pictures in a 4K mode up to 120 frames per second with a max bit rate also of 120 megabits per second and an uh, aperture of f2.8 to f11, so it has a, a variable aperture. The dual infrared module will support 8K, and it has uh, a dual mode, so you can have both pictures at once. Some of the available modes include single shot burst, AEB, time lapse, HDR, night beat, which is, I guess, their nighttime shooting mode. Uh, stills are supported in DNG or JPEG, and you can have an up to 128 gigabyte micro SD card. Now there's the Smart Flight System Sensor Package. This includes an IMU, which is gyro and accelerometer, a compass, a GNSS receiver, a barometer, ultrasonic sensors, and the binocular vision sensing system, which includes visual sensors in all directions. So different modes include go home, which is basically return to home, Fail safe, which is go home that happens when the comms are lost or battery is too low. It has smart tracking with three different modes, gesture commands, accurate landings. The remote controller is 900 megahertz or 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, and it has a built-in 330 nit OLED screen with an operating time of 3.2 hours. Some of the specs, uh, its max speed is 45 miles per hour. Uh, it measures tip to tip, so corner to corner diagonally, 13 inches, and it weighs 150 grams. So I think those are all the things that I wanted to hit on real quick. The big one being 35 minute flight time, it has a 7,100 milliamp hour battery, that built-in screen, but it also supports a, an additional screen, so you don't have to use the built-in screen, but the built-in screen can either be a live view or it can display data for you if you're using a, a, another screen. So, that's going to be it. Uh, I'll have some pictures up. Uh, you'll see pictures of the controller and stuff. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be, I'm always going to be putting out drone-related content, so if you're into drones, this is when you, what you want to see, and that's probably what got you here. Anyways, thanks again, guys. I'll see you next time.